ハローエブリワン。This is Reverend Naoyoka no of Los Angeles k e r a t s Church.I'm recording this video on at the end of November 2023.There is only one month left this year.November is a special month for g e d a t s members because it is the month of Master g e d a t s Congo's birth and death, like Easter and Christmas rolled into one. For Christians. So, the third Sunday service of every November, we offer prayers and flowers to our founder, g e d a t s Kongo, as a token of our gratitude. As disciples of g e d a t s Kongo, let us promise to practice in our daily lives the precious teaching he left for us and do our best to promote world peace. By showing compassion, kindness, and understanding for others. So, today I would like to introduce one of the Master's well known principles the law to become beautiful, which he often told members while alive. Now, I know that most of you are already beautiful, but I believe your beauty. Will be heightened by learning this law. Master g e d a t s Kongo explains the law to become beautiful as here. Our thoughts are revealed in our words, and our words are then expressed in our actions. This makes sense when we think about our daily lives. Especially our interactions and relationships with others. We can state in simple terms that our lives consist of three main factors thoughts, words, and actions. For example, in my family, every morning before the kids leave for school, our family gathers before the altar to give opening prayer. After the prayer, Yuko and I say to each other, Yoroshiko onegai shimasu, which roughly translates to, I'm happy to be with you today. Then we hug each other. Sometimes, however, even though Yuko utters, I'm happy to be with you, she fails to hug me. Also, when I return home, I say, Tadaima, which is like I'm home. Usually, Yuko greets me with Okaeri or welcome home with a bright smile, but sometimes I can sense a low key tension behind her words. In these cases, careful attention is required. Well, these common examples of everyday human interactions demo demonstrate that there can be a lot more happening behind simple words and actions. That is because one's thoughts and feelings, which are very important, cannot be seen. Some may think that y e r a t s Kongo's teachings related only to the truth. And the falsehoods did not apply to his words. But the master taught the clear dangers of dishonesty and lying. To lie is to express words or actions that differ from what we really think or believe. People lie because they think people can't see their minds. This may be true for a while, but over time, if we continually lie, we will destroy our relationship with others and lose their trust. Gerats Kongo's principle of the law to become beautiful also can be applied to the health. When we are healthy and happy, we stand more erect. And our voice is clear and strong. On the other hand, when we aren't feeling well, we tend to complain and our breathing is more shallow. 
Also for those who are depressed, their shoulder blades and hip joint stiffen. As a result, they tend to stoop forward and the walking stride becomes shorter. Thus, our mind and spiritual state are revealed in our words, body, and actions. Our mind is a creator, and everything related to ourselves is a reflection of our mind. Together with this law to become beautiful, Gerard Congo stated five rules, which is grudge not, envy not, grieve not, dispute not, boast not. Further, he stated the penalty for not heeding these rules. If you begrudge others, you will be grudged. He said, if you envy others, you will be envied. I want you to truly understand this law. So you may ask, where is the beauty in this law to become beautiful? Well, let me unveil to you the treasure of Gerard Kongo's words. If our mind is revealed in our words, and our words are then expressed in our actions, then conversely, if we change our words and actions, our mind also changes. It may sound easy to change our minds, but it is very difficult to do so. No matter how much we desire to change our minds, it rarely succeeds. However, with attention and a little effort, we can change our words and actions. Take, for example, those who are depressed and tend to stoop forward and walk with short stride. What if they force themselves to walk with their chest out and with long strides? What if we force ourselves to smile even if we are sad? When our behavior and actions are positive, our emotions and mind follow and become positive. Say that our spouse is in a bad mood. We don't know why, but they seem angry. In such a case, we can bring home their favorite cake or flowers, hug them tenderly, and say thank you and I love you. Even though they may be in a bad mood, we can't change their mind. But through our loving actions, like offering a surprise gift, their feelings may lighten and their mind may change positively. I will say again and again, Gita's teachings require practice. In fact, only through practice can, can we derive the true value of the Gita's teachings. In the Gita's teachings, we often hear appreciation and gratitude, but Appreciation and gratitude being a state of mind is elusive. We can, however, demonstrate our appreciation and gratitude through our actions, such as making offerings to the gods, reciting our prayers, and giving holy tea blessings to our ancestors. Our daily actions of appreciation and gratitude surely change and beautify our minds over time. Let us practice self-reflection as part of our daily routine. Whenever we have time, maybe in our bed at the end of the day, recall what we have done, good or bad, during the day and reflect on it. Take steps to reform our behavior the following day. I believe that will improve our spirituality over time. Always keep in mind our Founder's words. Our mind is revealed in our words, and our words are then expressed in our actions. By doing so, I am sure we will find that we have become more beautiful. 
I'd like to conclude my sermon today or talk today by sincerely praying for your continued happiness and health. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe this channel. Okay, have a nice day. Bye.